Hey, how's it going? I'm Josh from 91 Tech and I have laryngitis, but today we're unboxing the iPhone 14 Pro. I am so sorry I sound like I'm on my deathbed. I actually feel pretty okay besides bad cough, but it's a yearly tradition here since the iPhone 10 to unbox the iPhone the day I get it. So we're gonna do that. Right away, classic Apple. There's no plastic anymore, just these kind of stickers on the back that you need to peel off of the box. Doing this lets you lift off the top and right there we get the back of the iPhone in all its purple glory. Now it might not look that purple. I was having some trouble color correcting in a way that made it look right here so hopefully it's good enough but in the proper lighting it is definitely a purple as we go ahead and peel off the paper there well it's like a paper sticker it's a very nice color normally I wouldn't go for like a purpley or kind of pink or whatever kind of color but I really liked it this year and frankly I already had the space gray so wasn't too interested in the gold or silver but anyways this is a 256 gig model and looking at the paperwork there you'll, you'll notice I do have a sim tool I'm in Canada and we still get to keep these if you're in the US it's eSIM only now, I'm not a fan of that because if you go traveling, if you want a temporary number, it's not going to be as easy. So I'm glad to still have it. I would expect it's gone next year, but we'll see how fast Apple is at rolling that out. We only get one Apple sticker yet again. It's ridiculous. First, they remove the headphone jack, then the charging bricks, then the Apple stickers. Honestly, that's the least forgivable of all of them. But we also get the USB-C to lightning cord. And this is why I don't like that they don't include charging bricks anymore. Because what if you're someone who doesn't know a lot about tech, you just bought the new iPhone, you get this, you don't have a USB. C port in your home, and maybe you don't even have a lightning charger already. Now you're stuck. You need to buy the adapters separately. It's a bit ridiculous. But anyways, booting into the phone right away, we can see that beautiful dynamic island, as Apple calls it so proudly. It's a sort of silly name, but honestly, it's grown on me. And yeah, I mean, it looks really cool. I'm just going to set this up without my actual stuff on it just for this video, just so we can get into the phone itself. If we get into the phone, we can see right away just how gorgeous it is with that new wallpaper and iOS 16. Stunning as as always, and if we flip it over and look at it compared to my 13 Pro, very similar looking. Again, the purple might not be super obvious, but it is purple. Definitely looks different than the space gray, and the camera lenses have somehow gotten even bigger, which is pretty funny because I remember last year talking a lot about how just like ridiculously oversized they already were, and now they're even bigger, and I'd expect that trend will probably continue. Honestly, for me, the dynamic island isn't like the biggest deal. I'm working on my iPhone buying guide right now. Hopefully that'll be up soon. I recorded it when my voice was a bit better, and I realized I hardly even mentioned it because it doesn't seem to me like much of a selling point besides it is cool but I don't think it's going to be the tipping point for people or at least it really shouldn't be. Now I don't have any apps yet because I'm not signed in but I wanted to try out the dynamic island animation so I went on to SoundCloud through Safari which is the ideal way to listen to music and right away playing something and just going home you can see it's very smooth it's nice and if you tap on the island you do need to touch the screen itself not the camera although it's pretty generous with that and it brings you right back to Safari where you were and if you you hold on to it you actually get that little pop-up with your audio settings which is actually super useful I think I'm gonna use that a lot because I know I often would go to control center and then get there which is a lot more work than just from the top this is really cool again I don't consider it much of a selling point but I am very excited to keep using it I did want to try the always on display now that is enabled by default you can find it under display under settings and of course what this does when you lock the phone it doesn't go pitch black it kind of shows the wallpaper you can see the clock and if you're playing music it'll actually actually still show the album art, which is pretty cool. And it does this by going down to one hertz, one frame per second. So the screen is going very slowly, basically. Last thing we'll do in this video is I did get a leather case from Apple for this phone. Been getting the leather cases for a few years now. I really like them. Opening this box was harder than it should have been. It should just slide out, but uh, it didn't want to. I had to really dig at it. So it's not exactly the nicest unboxing experience. And I love how there's paperwork inside the case and it wants you to like peel it up. Like, is it really hard to just push out the paper through the camera hole. It's just so Apple and then you pull it out and then the paper under it is still there. So it's just unnecessary. I also like that in the box, it shows you instructions of how to put the case on your phone. Like you somehow won't figure that out. Anyways, putting the case on, it looks nice. The Meg safe. I got it in black this time because I got the purple phone. Uh, last year I, I had, it's more of a purple. It's like a dark cherry, I think it's called. And uh, it's it's seen some things. It's, uh, it's had a rough year, but it served me pretty well. Overall, their durability is pretty good and protection wise, I don't know. They're probably not great, but I found these phones to be fairly durable in the past. I dropped my 13 Pro last year, like one of the uh, first days I had it while filming something. So it was okay. Just a few chips on the bottom. So that was my iPhone unboxing experience. Again, apologies for my voice. I sound like I was hit by a truck or something. I think my throat was run over mm, by Ford F-250 uh, or something brilliant. like that. But anyways, it'll have to do. And I appreciate you watching all the same. I'll be doing a review on this phone, of course. Not sure how long that'll take, but I do have an iPhone buying guide coming 
hopefully very soon within the week. I was waiting to get the 14 Pro to get some footage and impressions, and then I'll be working on the 14 Pro review, so it should be fun. Make sure you stick around for that and subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe hit that like button if you think my new voice is much better than my old one, and maybe go follow me on social medias as well if you'd like. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Much appreciated. I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and I will see you all next time if I'm not dead. <laughs>